everybody is desperate to see their families. Everybody's desperate to get out of their houses and to celebrate. And this represents, of course, a really big concern. These will be the first holidays that we are experiencing in this pandemic. Last year, at this time, the only people who knew there was something called SARS-CoV-2 were people in Wuhan, probably. Um, so what does this mean for us? Well, the safest thing, to be perfectly honest, is not to gather in groups that you haven't been cohorting with uh, throughout this thing. So if you want to go home to your parents or to your friends or your family, to people you haven't seen, recognize that it is gonna pose a risk in both directions. You may unknowingly bring asymptomatic infection home and you may acquire infection when you're there and then bring it back. This is an incredibly communicable infection. I've heard of clusters of cases now where the attack rate is astonishing in people who have been in the same room, particularly restaurants, gyms, and bars, and churches. So remember, any place where you're sharing food, sharing utensils, breathing close together, singing close together, singing is a great way, I'm sorry to say, to share this virus because you're expelling that virus out as you breathe out, especially if you're singing exuberantly, which is how people like to sing and should be singing. Um, so if you do it, just remember, you've got to be incredibly thoughtful. And all the things we've been talking about, mask wearing, hand hygiene, and social distancing need to be incorporated. The final thing I'll say about Thanksgiving that I think is worth noting is that a lot of people think they can just get tested and then go home and they're safe. Remember a negative test, even if it's a PCR test, which is the most sensitive test, only tells you at that very moment that you are not infectious. You can still be infected and not turn PCR positive for up to two days, maybe three, but really two days is what we think about. So if you get a test and you're negative, know that it doesn't give you a passport to be sure that you're not going to infect anybody else. It's reassuring, but it's not definitive. And it certainly isn't something right now that can take you out of quarantine if you've been quarantined because of exposure to the virus.